Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I figured we would go over some more of the December daily. There's only a few more days left until the end of December. Can you believe it already? It feels like the last few months of this year have completely flown by. Like the first like eight, nine months of this year have been like so incredibly slow and drawn out, at least for me. And then the last few months have just been like, oh my gosh, it is just going by so, so fast. Um, I'm pardon my jacket. I'm actually cold right now, um, which I know it's not super cold here in South Carolina. You know, we're actually pretty warm right now. It is 36 degrees and it's 720 outside, uh, 7, um, 1921 for anybody who knows that time. But, um, anyway, it's not very cold, but it's cold for me because I'm like, I guess used to being in the warm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, it is Christmas Day and it's in the evening for me. So I do my recording in the evening. <clears throat> anyway, I figured that we would go through and work on um, the December Daily a little bit. And I also uh, did want to show you guys something. I'm pretty excited. Uh, something that I got for Christmas was a Canon Selfie. And I am really, really, really excited. So I wanted to show you guys that. So I printed out a couple pictures from when we took some pictures for Christmas. Um, there were a couple pictures in here that are prior to Christmas. These are some that my daughter took. They're a little darker, so I'm going to have to show her how to brighten them up because they're really dark. Like even this one of me is like right here in the middle. I, it's really, really dark and it's hard to see it. Anyway, this is a picture of my dog, Xena. Haven actually laid down on the ground to take that picture. It's such a good picture. Anyway, um, this was uh, in the morning. This was our, our Christmas brunch. And that was me because my kids are always like, you never take pictures of yourself. So I was like, fine. <laughs> so I turned it around. I was like, click <laughs> Uh, this was our brunch. Um, we always do a really big breakfast for Christmas. Uh, we don't do Christmas dinner per se, because normally by the end of the day, we are very, very conked out. So we normally do a really, really big breakfast and it, it's normally a brunch because we're normally eating around noon. Um, but we had, uh, biscuits and gravy, hash browns, French toast, quiche, cinnamon rolls, some scrambled eggs, and some homemade blueberry jam. Um, my husband, my daughter, my youngest daughter, um, I was still playing with this and it was supposed to actually catch Haven, but it only caught her hands because I wasn't aware that the size wasn't by default a four by six. So I was still learning about that. My son over there, he never has a shirt on. He's 14 and a half and he never has a shirt on. And this was yesterday, actually, when my daughter, my youngest daughter was making her gingerbread house and my husband was helping by eating the icing. And so, yeah. And then that's mom. <laughs> well, that's me. I was helping with the architecture of the house because no one in my family is an architect. They're all engineers. So I'm the closest they get. So I was putting it together. And that way, when it came time to decorate it, it didn't matter what she did to that house. That house was not coming down. Um, and when it was time to put it away for the evening, my son actually had to rip it apart to get it apart. He's like, man, mom, you really are a good architect. I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> this was this morning. Um, I did get a couple videos, um, but they're kind of long. So I don't think I'm going to do a vlog or anything like that. Um, but the, the biggest, uh, I got two videos very specifically was my daughter, my oldest daughter. She's been trying for the better part of a year and a half to get her driver's license. But the way that it works here is you can only schedule the appointment once a week and that's on Tuesdays. And she's been trying for the better part of a year and a half and she could, just couldn't get her license, couldn't get the appointment for it. 
anyway, um, my husband just went in one day and was like, I wonder, checked the website and click, click, click. He made the appointment and I was like, what? So we printed out the appointment, folded it up, wrapped it up in this little EB square. And then, I mean, you guys know me, I have a little bit of envelopes. So I layered the envelopes and every few times I would wrap the present again. And so I had that video and it was about an eight and a half minute video. And at the end she cried because she realized what it was and it was really cute. Um, but this was just this morning, my husband being a goofball. My husband's just like one of the kids during Christmas. He really is. And then again, I can't really say much because that is me opening the selfie. <laughs> like I was a kid in the candy store, man. As soon as I realized um, what it was, I was just like, I literally squeaked. It was so funny. <laughs> and that's that right there. That was me going, <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. Because uh, I've wanted one for a minute. Um, and this was my daughter. She had get gotten us all together and we got our little family picture, um, being goofballs. <laughs> Everybody's like, <laughs> uh, that's actually my dad. Uh, that brown man back there. Yeah. He's Mexican. That's my dad. <laughs> um, and it's really funny because my kids, as you can see, are very, very white. Um, and then standing next to my dad is it looks very funny because <laughs> my dad is very dark. Um, but anyway, my, um, I took that a year ago, actually, when we went to Tennessee, that's her crying because she finally realized what it was that she was opening. And she's such a pretty crier too. And that was my Christmas Eve present. And then this was again, her darker pictures, but we're going to play with them. But anyway, that was my selfie. And I wanted to share that with you guys for the last seven minutes. Anyway, we're going to play with our um, December daily and we're going to read this quote. It says, I've learned people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And that is by Miss Maya Angelou. So I really, really, really wanted to do this one. Um, so we're just going to grab a couple things. I've got um, some cards and some tags and some stickers and some brads and all kinds of stuff, really. And there's some more gift tags. We were looking for gift tags the other day. Because um, something that we like to do with the kids is we'll take stuff apart. And we will wrap like individual pieces of that thing. For instance, like if they get a deck of cards, we'll take the deck of cards apart and we'll wrap 52 cards. Because we're silly like that. Um, my husband got a couple packs of baklava uh, for Christmas because he loves baklava. And I took the boxes and I wrapped each box individually in a different container. So it was actually kind of cool. That way he wouldn't guess what it was because as soon as he opened the first one, he would have not known what the rest of them were. So I had to wrap the rest of them in something different. I had one of them wrapped in a pillow sham sitting on top of a small cookie sheet. So it was really heavy. But, uh, yeah. It was kind of funny. Oh, you're too big. Oh, you're way too big. All right, what do we got over here? I got my tea. Drinking. My daughter made me some tea. So anyway, I hope you guys had a very, very, very wonderful wonderful holiday. I had a great holiday. And the biggest thing that I have to say that I am thankful for is that I got to spend the holiday with my family because that's not always a guarantee. My husband's in the Navy. We don't get 
our holidays together all the time. And it's just, it's really, really nice to be able to spend the holiday with them. Oh, that's actually down more than I thought it would be. My allergies are acting up. Another reason why I was like, I need some tea. But, um, yeah, this, this year was really great. I was very grateful for this year. A lot of bad things are happening all around the world, as you guys are probably very well aware. But the one thing that I have to say is I got to spend it with the people that I love the most. And that's pretty amazing. Because we don't get that every year. Pandemic or not, we just don't get that every year. So, hopefully we can get through a couple pages here. And let me know if this is something that you guys want to go ahead and finish out, or if you want me to finish it and then just, like, show you the end result. Um, I know that I would have normally done this on Friday, but yesterday was a little busy. Just ever so slightly. So I was able to get a video up. Um, as it was, I had to have my husband extend the internet because our internet shuts off at 1030 every night. And that's so my kids don't like stay up until four or five o'clock in the evening. And then um, they don't wake up until like three or four o'clock in the afternoon. Because um, I ain't about that game. <laughs> like you got to be productive here, dude. So I don't, um, so we shut off the internet. So anyway, now that this is like a complete hot mess, this is crazy. Okay. So this one says, remember that the happiest people are not those getting more, but those giving more. And this was actually, um, found on a video that I watched by Miss Gail Agostinelli, and it was a quote that she had done in her daily de uh, December as well. And I was so pleased to see that she was doing quotes in her December daily because I think they're just such wonderful, wonderful things. And I think everyone should have inspirational quotes that they can look at from time to time. And it's just such a wonderful thing. Anyway, when I found this, I was like, oh my gosh, I so need to add that. So the quote was by Mr. H. Jackson and uh, Rachel Pennington. And it, like I said, it was found on Miss Gail Agostinelli's video on December 20th, 2020. And it, the timestamp is 744, if you guys want to go look at that. Um, but anyway, when I heard that, I was just like, oh my goodness gracious, that is just the most amazing thing. And I thought that it was just so fitting, especially for Christmas Day. So, I wanted to add that there. And these are just some little pieces that I have gotten. Uh, this one actually is an, uh, a little extra thing that came in one of my orders that I had placed on the Etsy. And we're just going to put more 25 everywhere. 25 is awesome. And there's a joy. Let's add a joy. So what do you guys think about the glue books and the December dailies? Are there something that you guys want to see more of? Like, obviously, there's only one December in a year, so that won't, I mean, that won't happen until, you know, next year, but it is something that I can look forward to, or I can definitely finish this up with you guys. I don't have to just, you know, finish it up and then show you the end result. Um, oh, I will let you know, too, I will be starting Valentine's soon because I do have a shop. So I need to get the products in the shop before the actual holiday. So I will be starting those projects soon. Uh, I do have a couple journals that are done and those will be going up on the shop soon as well. 
Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave them pretty naked. The covers are very well decorated. And, um, oh yeah, I did those with uh, you guys the other day. It was sewing in the four journals uh, in 20 minutes. Yeah. So I went ahead and decorated those journals on one of my live streams. And, um, yeah, so those are all, and there's actually five of them, not four. Um, but I went ahead and decorated those up on one of the live streams. And, um, yeah, so those will be done. And I'm going to go ahead and do 26 right now because today is the 25th, but this will air on the 26th for you guys. And this one says, I'm not a product of my circumstances. I'm a product of my decisions. And that's by a gentleman named Stephen Covey. I really like the snowman. I'm going to use the snowman. And I do have another piece, uh, another piece, another glue stick here because this glue stick is on its last limb. So I went ahead and grabbed another one. And you know, this kind of feels like a glue book. It really does. Because I'm just gluing stuff down that makes me happy. Because this particular December daily is a little bit different than your traditional December daily. Um, I think we've all kind of learned that and have accepted that. And I love it, actually. I like the fact that I can just go in whenever I want and just pick a day. And there's going to be something wonderful and inspirationable. Inspirationable? inspirational about that given day and that page is just going to be so pretty and uplifting and wonderful so i i really really like this concept and i think you know i don't know i just might continue to do this um i know some people also might call this just journaling <laughs> what a great concept who would have thunk it um but it is absolutely just a great 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 thing so this says holly jolly. So let's put that down. I'm going to have to grab my art glitter glue for this one though. All right, let's clean off my pen. Oh, also I do have pens in the shop. I did go ahead and get some of those done. I was doing custom orders for a while and, um, I finally got a break in the custom orders, so I went ahead and made up a few um, general orders and put those in the shop. I have a single bottle because I cannot seem to keep the bottles in stock, but that's okay. Um, I was able to get more. Those things like to hide. I had to search for quite a few hours to find some more bottles. But I did finally get some and they came in. I got them yesterday. So very excited about that. Um, so there is that. And then let's see how much time we have. We might have a time to do one more. And the last page that we're going to do, I've got one more uh, set aside. I wasn't sure how quick we were going to work. But this one says, life is 10% what happens to me. And 90% of how I react to it. And it just goes so, so well with this one here where it says, I'm not a product of my circumstances, but a product of my decisions. Same thing here. 10% is what happens to you and 90% is how you react to it. So it's just such a wonderful, wonderful message. And, um, you know, I can't help it. I have to put my Santa and I'm going to cover up that little hole right there. So I know a lot of people have, you know, kind of picked at me for the whole Santa thing. Even my kids, you know, it's funny. Well, my oldest one specifically, I think my younger ones still get it because they're younger and they're innocent and they still believe in the power of magic. Um, but my oldest, she's funny because she likes to pick at me for it. She's like, mom has a crush on Santa. <laughs> like, not really, but I really do like you know, how he represents magic and innocence and wonder and just, it's just awesome. Okay. 
I'm just kind of gluing down some stuff that looks pretty and nice. Should probably add a a glue book or something down here. So I don't keep gluing on this page here. But like that. Okay. It's a green on this page. Oops. So another thing that my husband got me for Christmas was a wax seal set. Um, he had gotten me um, a set of six, I think, different um, seals. And then he got me this little container full of like a, mm, a bajillion different colored waxes. I've used a couple. But put it this way, I was playing so much with them that the seals I was using actually started getting warm. So then the wax started sticking in there and I was like, no. <laughs> so then I had to figure out how to get that off. So that was fun. Um, ho, ho, ho. All right. So we've only got a few more days of the December daily left, actually. Really don't have that much. Marion Bright. Oh, look, more green. And I'm literally just putting stuff down that looks good and feels good and nothing, no rhyme, no reason, just if it feels good, it's going down. I'm just kind of grabbing some stuff. Oh, there's a heart. What? This was to let me know what something was. I'm going to put that heart down there. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And then add this little Noel right here. And we can call this page done. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. And I still have some glue left. Not a lot, but a little bit. So, my, sh my shirt's very loose. I have to buy new clothes again. <laughs> it was kind of funny because I was telling a friend of mine today that I am actually the same size. Like, my physical size is the same as when I met my husband. But I'm heavier. So when I met my husband, I was about 100 pounds lighter than I am right now. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but it makes a little bit of sense because, I mean, I guess I would have a little bit more muscle, but I, not that much. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense to me. That or my scales really broken, but I just went to the doctor too, and the doctor's scales are very similar to mine. They actually say that I weigh less than my scales do. My scales put me at heavier. Anyway, so... We did the 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th today. And um, you guys are seeing this on the 26th. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue this. Um, and as long as I, you know, I'm pretty sure I will be able to just do this with you guys at least two more days. Because whether it's one day or two days, I've only got one, two, three, four more days. But the 30th and the 31st. The 29th, 30th, and 31st are full page layouts because I was trying to utilize a little bit more of the pages. But 
either way, I think we can do it. So I really hope you guys are enjoying this and thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and just being a part of who I am. And it's just, it's so wonderful being a part of you guys' lives. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.